Hey guys, Ethan here with Terminal.com and today I'm going to show you how to solve a very specific problem that a lot of people are running into with their Hugin accounts. Now Hugin is a little app that allows you to set up agents online and these agents can then pay attention to websites and take action on your behalf. A very cool tool. We've got an introductory uh, tutorial on it which I'd urge you to check out. There's a link to it in the description for this video. Uh, but uh, a lot of people run into an issue with getting Hugin to access um, their email account. And a lot of people like to set Hugin up so that it sends emails through their own Gmail account. Uh, but they, they run into an issue where uh, it doesn't seem to be working. And so, so maybe you found us through this tutorial on our website. Or maybe you found us through, uh, through some other Hugin setup that you're going through. This is an issue that I ran into several times on my own, and uh, I just thought that the solution was, <laughs> it would have saved me a ton of time, so I decided to, to create this little tutorial for you. So, if you've got, you know, your terminal set up, and it's running, and your agents are set up and running, and uh, they seem to be sending email off to your email account, but you come over to your email, and nothing appears, it's very likely that the issue lies with uh, Google's authentication of the app. Now, one way you can tell is from your terminal.com terminal, the one where you built the specific instance of Hugin, you want to come over to the file tree and then select on uh, log. And in here, there are two different logs. Uh, one's development. But you're looking for the delayed job log. And you can see I've got that open here. Now, if there's an issue uh, with any of the events running on uh, your agents, you'll see it here. And the common issue that we're running into uh, in this particular instance is uh, written in this, in this format right here. So you'll see the E for error code. There's an error, and it's an error on the send message job. And you'll see that um, if we... It was run a couple of times, so that particular agent was supposed to be trying to send a message uh, roughly every minute. And you can see here that when this one ran, the error was an SMTP authentication error. And then it lists this, uh, this URL. Now, if you plug this URL into your um, browser, depending on whether or not you're logged into your email, account it will either bring you to a login page or it'll bring you to your account setting page and what this is this is a second step authentication that Google puts in the way uh, in order to make sure that whoever's trying to access your email account is in fact authorized to do that so this is what's stopping the app from signing in and sending you the emails that you're looking for now very easy to solve uh, all you have to do is find our article on um, setting up Hugin with Gmail, which I, there's a link to it in the standard Hugin um, tutorial. There's also a link to it at the bottom of this video. And uh, open that up, and inside that tutorial, there's a link that you want to visit. This link will basically tell Google to open up your account to any app that tries to sign in as long as that app has the right credentials. And it will give the app a 10 minute window to sign in. And once it does that, uh, your Hugin agents should, should start working immediately. So if you uh, search through this, it will tell you the, uh, this basically brings you through it from the beginning. And then right here, step five is grant uh, the app Google Access. And you do that by clicking on this link. So this link is a very specific site. And as I said, this is, this is the site that Google uses to unlock a 10 minute authentication or a 10 minute window in which any app that then tries to access your account over the next 10 minutes will be granted access and it will be granted permanent access. So if we hit continue, 
you it's that simple your account access has been enabled you come back over to your Hugin uh, agent and then you want to force a run so the uh, agent setup that we have in our other tutorial is set up to run on an at 8 a.m. at 8 a.m. you can see that here in the schedule section uh, so you want to force it to run right now that way uh, Google can sign it in over the next 10 minutes and you'll see right here that quickly we've got our new notification so our agents are officially working that's all it really takes after that uh, it should have access you know permanently and what I have found is that uh, specifically for terminal.com users if you decide to set up new terminals with Hugin on them you don't need to repeat this process uh, I hope this was helpful guys uh, get out there and play with it a little bit and be sure to tune in next time